Hello, and welcome to another Bucky video. Today we're continuing with a little more, well, we're not actually going to continue with fairy tales. We've been doing fairy tales for the last two weeks, and we're going to continue, we're going to actually start writing our own fairy tales, but one of the things I also need to show you is myths and folk tales. Fairy tales generally derive from folk tales, or such things. Folk tales are fairy tales, just without the magics, usually. And then myths, which are generally stories that people tell to explain why things are the way they are. Um, and there are some very popular myths that permeate, which means move throughout society. And in fact, today, I'm going to read you a Norris myth. The, the people, well, Norris refers to the area in Norway, Sweden, Finland, Northern Europe, cold, snowy, mountains, think Vikings, all right? That is generally the kind of connotation that I'm thinking of the people who developed this myth. Now, the myth I'm going to be reading today is not a very long one, but it is a character you are very familiar with. In fact, he's been in a lot of movies recently, um, but he was actually developed thousands and thousands of years ago, and Stan Lee kind of stole him and made some new stories about him, which is you're familiar with, but we're gonna be reading, I'm gonna be reading to you about Thor, the Thunder God, and you can see a picture of Thor, right? That looks a little different than Liam Hensworth. I think that's the actor's name who plays Thor, but, so I'm gonna, I will read this to you, picture that, huh? all right? This is the myth of Thor. Um, you can fill this out in your fairy tale log if you want, although this is technically not a fairy tale. All right, so Thor the Thunder God. Strongest of the Asir was Odin's son Thor, the god of thunder. His temper was as fiery as his bristling red beard. He struck out before thinking, and his blows were not soft. All right, so he was a little bit impulsive, right? Struck out before he was thinking, and yeah, Thor was strong. He had a magic hammer, the Mo Mo Molnar which smashed to bits whatever it struck. He also had an iron mitt and a magic belt. When he put on his belt, his enormous strength was doubled. The mere mention of Jotuns and trolls made Thor furious. And whenever he heard that some of them had broken out of their ice-bound realm, he flew into a rage. He would dash off to fight them in his cart, which was drawn by two billy goats so wild they gnashed their teeth. Lightning flashed from their hooves, and the wheels of the cart thundered over the leading clouds. Thor would throw his hammer from afar, and it would hurtle through the air and crush the stony head of a Jotun. Then it would fly back to Thor to be thrown again and again. It was red hot, but Thor could catch it with his iron mitt. At home on Asgard, Thor was kind and good-natured. He was very proud of his two sons, Magni and Modi who were almost as strong as he was, and he adored his golden-haired wife, Sif. He loved to give big and noisy feasts in his hall, which was enormous. Room op opened upon room. Altogether, there were 540 of them. There, by the long fires, his guests gorged themselves with food and drink. Thor was a glutton himself, and he thought nothing of eating a whole roast ox and a couple of salmon, and washing it all down with kegs of sweet mead. That's like wine in Viking society. The Asir depended greatly on Thor. They had only to call his name, and there he was. No matter how far away he had been, the Asir called him often. Without him, the Jontans might well have won over them. So a little bit different than the Avengers version of Thor. That wasn't quite a story. It was more a description of Thor. But yeah, um, there are some things that the Thor in the Marvel comics, some differences. For example, he rides a chariot pulled by goats. That is not in the Marvel comic. He also has a belt, which doubles his strength. I think they should have used that. And an iron mitt, much like the gauntlet in Infinity War. But I'm hoping you enjoyed this myth and uh, or the reading. And maybe it taught you a little something that, yes, some things that you think are new are not actually that new. And they've been around for a long time, passed on and on. Until next time, make sure you like this video, hit subscribe. Later.